Hi, this is the 520 bridge that we built for the grand opening of the new floating, world's floating, long, longest floating bridge. And this is a collaboration, right? So you are Sean, and how many other people are involved in this? There are, the team is six of us. So um, Alice here and my son. Yes, uh, Alice Finch. I was one of the people that helped work on the bridge. Fantastic, fantastic. So uh, give a little backstory on what this is. So last fall, about this time, the guys that were building the 520 bridge, like the real bridge, were planning this party for the grand opening of the bridge. And they started asking around if somebody wanted to help build a... They wanted an eight-foot model of the 520 bridge, of the whole thing. Now, if you've ever looked on Bing Maps or something and seen a mo uh, an aerial view, it's like a really long, thin line. So we had to start by explaining that an eight-foot uh, section an eight foot long section that included the entire bridge would only be like an inch wide and wouldn't have very much detail. Yeah. So it took a little while to get over that. Um, and so then we investigated other possibilities doing a, a, a larger scale similar to this, but what it would take to be the whole bridge, which would be like 60 feet long, they weren't willing to provide that much brick. So <laughs> we ended up scaling it down. So we ended up landing on this, what we're calling the play scale version of the bridge. Uh, we like did Disneylandified almost. Yes, Disneylandified. The the little ramp is a little uh, less steep than, uh, I mean, a little steeper than it would be on the real bridge. So the whole thing's compressed vertic uh, horizontally a little bit, so it's not not as doesn't take up as much space, and you can still have the high rise over here on the east side, and then going down to the uh, representative section of the of the bridge deck. Of course, the real bridge has a lot more of the flat part, so. And now, uh, real quick, uh, describe the significance of the bridge in the Seattle area. So if you're from Seattle, you know what this is, you know why it's important. Uh, why is this bridge important in real life? I believe it's the longest floating bridge in the world now, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it is a, a, one of two bridges that goes across Lake Washington. It's extremely important for commuters both times of day. And so it was a big deal when the... 520 was it's going to be replaced it's also a toll bridge so it's kind of infamous as well as famous um, but it also has a really nice pedestrian walkway and uh, there it's uh, I believe the old bridge is now gone destroyed so um, we are very happy with our new bridge because it also is safe they needed to replace the old bridge because it was a, a safe safety issue today four times a day four times a day Awesome, that's awesome. Now, um, it's a beautiful build. Uh, maybe each of you here run me through maybe your favorite design feature of the build, and we'll kind of maybe start with you. I know. My favorite design feature are the railings and these because I helped come up with that, and the color scheme. So you say those like little antenna pieces, right? Yes, yes. What's your favorite part? I like the Sentinels. That's also one of the features that they really wanted us to include when they asked us to make the build is, is the Sentinels because that... I forget what the meaning is, <laughs> but they it's important to them, uh, the Sentinels, and there's smaller representations clear along the bridge that, um, you know, are sort of an artistic aspect. They make it look less industrial and make it uh, a much nicer looking bridge. And then, it's a prettier bridge than the old, it's a much prettier bridge than the old bridge. I think I, I can, I watched I think one documentary on it, and I will say the new design, I, I uh, much stylistically more pleasing, right? So one of the things I like that you might not be able to see at first glance is the bridge deck is actually uh, built sideways. And that can present a challenge because you end up with studs on one side and stud receptors on the other. But because of the way it was designed, it actually isn't too far from the look that we were going for. So we have the railing, the raised railing here. This is a, a two by eight that's an extra wide uh, rail on it. And that provides the border for the cars and then you have the handrail on the side so it actually worked out really well with having a brick built or actually plate and brick built um, roadway very cool very cool now uh, it is a collaboration there are many people involved what was the biggest takeaway that uh, this collaboration kind of uh, brought out like what did you think uh, kind of coming out of it what, what did you what, what did you learn maybe the biggest, the collaboration was pretty good. I think the entire team, we worked pretty well. We had great ideas. We went over to Alice's house because she has a ton of brick to, to do the initial mock-ups. But some of the guys had ideas, and we worked on several different ideas for the road deck and stuff. But I think the biggest challenge was working with the, uh, w working with the customer 
because this was actually a project that they were asking us to build and we hadn't done that before so you know going back and forth and, and basically bidding on the project um, going back and forth and, and refining the idea when they said oh that doesn't work you know it's cost too much and we, and we said hey that doesn't work it's gonna look really stupid you need to have something better and then you know it was a really great process because we ended up landing on this this fun scale bridge uh, we lost a few things like the shoulders and stuff, but it's a really great representation of the bridge. It's pretty accurate as far as the scale goes. And when we were out on the bridge, then we had a ton of the play brick that we borrowed from, from BrickCon. And uh, we added a bunch of wheels to the play brick, which we've donated to the to, back to BrickCon. And then the kids built cars. So we had thousands and thousands of cars being built. We had bumper to bumper traffic on, on bridge day. We couldn't take apart the cars fast enough. The kids loved it. It was it was absolutely brilliant. So, so working on on the from the initial concept of this like stick figure, long skinny thing that was totally unrealistic, and landing on this fun thing where the kids got to play with it, and we we ended up so with a project that we were the builders were happy with, and that the customer was happy with, and and everybody loved that was that was the most interesting part and challenge. A really cool build. This is Federico. He was one of the other builders. So, so nice to see. What did you contribute to the build? Uh, some parts of the pontoons and a bunch of the cars and just hard labor. 